Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us in Off the Press and Plus TV Africa. My name is Felicity Ezewike. I won't be doing this alone. I have uh, a guest with me, public affairs analyst, Femi Adegoke. Pleasure to have you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we have a couple of papers uh, this morning. Uh, we'll just start off with the nation. Um, the first thing here, the screamer actually, is most bad roads belong to states, says federal government. And uh, just minute it, you will see, Minister, we are funding Works Ministry. 650 billion naira released for capital projects. Um, that's also on the fourth page. You will also see, by Elsa, we're monitoring trouble makers says U.S. Uh, details on page 8. And then that picture, I don't know if we can flip so you can see it. There is a picture on the front page. Yes, there you have it. Uh, the young man taking a selfie while they were lying uh, along the bush parts um, uh, to avoid being hit by stray bullets because of the tension over Saturday's governorship election. Um, in Bialsa State. Uh, we also have APC raises panel on Adriel crisis. Party endorses state chairman suspension or shameless men suspend Obaseki. Others, it's really uh, an ongoing drama in Edo State. Let's go to the case of Showery as captured on the paper at the very top um, mast just above the nameplate. You will see release Showery says Shoinka. Uh, DSS Falano disagree. $400 million of battle loot coming from US. That's another one for you. Cash stashed in 12 nations. Will we ever get to the end of the loot by this family? <laughs> uh, more $400 million coming uh, from the US. Uh, Sad one, 13 die in Lagos Ibadu accident, 10 injured in crash. On the flip side of the nation newspaper, you will see a picture of the First Lady Aisha Buhari. And uh, the caption for today is Aisha's moral recourse, comments and debate. Uh, you, you had both favorite is also there for you. Let's bring our guest, Ian Femi. Yeah. More we least. have, oh, I missed the Bile Circle Gear Election yeah. 20. The countdown is yeah. on. But let's start with this picture that says a million words at the same time. Well, it's, it's worrisome and it is sad that um, our politicking has become a war front that people now have to run for their lives. There, there was one going on in Kogi as well. I think a few days, one of the contestants claimed that she was attacked and we saw the cars vandal vandalized and all that. And now we're back in Bayosa. We can see people running for their lives. I don't know how we got here. Uh, what about the U.S. saying they're monitoring uh, troublemakers? Uh, of what um, uh, benefit is that uh, comment? Uh, does it have any impact if they say we're monitoring a bias uh, state elections? I, I don't think that. I, I, I've always said it that you don't come out and make such statements. People don't just want you to talk. They want to see what you've done to curb or to bring these irregularities to barest minimum. You are monitoring and people's lives are in danger. How long are you going to monitor for? Until everybody's dead? I don't understand. All right, let's look at other headlines. Which one would you like to pick on? Well, firstly, I would like to talk about the release of Shore says by Shoinka. Well, what the Nobel laureate said, I agree with him 100%, because in this country, the civil society is, uh, is actually urging the civil society to come together as one body and voice out because right now, the draconian system or the dictatorial system that we're seeing, not that Nigeria has not seen it before, but it took the people, their blood and their life to get this democracy. So we must rise up and stand to keep the democracy again. That's in a nutshell what the Nobel laureate was saying and how DSS has, has played back and front on this issue. And uh, I think yesterday, the spokesperson for DSS came out and said the shorties had not come for sure, which the lawyer, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Falano, has come out to refute and said he has been since on the 6th. They have served the bailiff and all, those, all what they're supposed to do, they've done. And then there's a back and forth. Do you, do you see, do you see uh, them releasing Shawari? 
because it's 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 looking like he might still be held and uh, i understand from uh, the grapevine that he is on a hunger strike <laughs> Well, I'm not going to talk about Sawyer being on hunger strike. Is is it? It's that's a personal decision anyway. But whether they will release him or not, we can talk about that now because I don't understand a government who wants the people to trust his actions or inactions. You now disobey court orders, not once, not twice, not three times. You are plunging the country or the system into uh, a breakdown of law and order very soon. Let us know whether we're running democracy or we're in dictatorship so that the people will prepare themselves and know this is what we have. <coughs> okay, let's look at the story of Abacha Lutz. It seems there is an on ending pocket where that money is being stored this time 400 million dollars yeah. uh, it's coming from the u.s do we should we expect more is there more money well will we expect more over time because like we said yesterday we don't put preventive measures we only come after and start chasing thieves chasing people who have plundered our national wealth now Abacha's loot, Abacha died in 1998, that's almost, uh, how many years now, 20, 21 years, and we're still getting this amount of money. And then yesterday in the news, there was a case of uh, Ziziani, the court threatening or issuing statement that they are going to strike it out. Do you know how long we're going to be able to recover Ziziani's loot if we're still re recovering Abacha's loot at this time? So therefore, we need to start putting a system in place that would prevent people from being able to even plunder our national wealth in the first place. All right. Uh, the situation uh, in Bielsa and Kogi is captured a bit on the front page. In case you missed it, uh, go grab a copy of the Nation newspaper for details. Uh, let's move on to the Punch newspaper now. Uh, uh, the screamer is still on the Ado State situation. NWC begins reconciliation as Oshomole Obasek is split APC. Um, call a neck meeting or resign, DG tells um, ex Edo governor. Lukman speaking for himself, national vice chair. Uh, that's all on your screen. Um, if you look at the top, you see customs seek return of import tax on petroleum products. Again, the Shoinka call is echoed here. Uh, DPR holds construction of filling stations in border areas. That's another. Uh, issue with uh, suspending <laughs> supply of fuel to that uh, part. Supreme Court give reasons for dismissing Atiku's petition today. Uh, I'm sure lawyers are waiting impatiently for that one. Um, there's, uh, let's go to that picture on the front page. Uh, let's see uh, what it's about. It's um, one die as shooting Ma Bielsa PDP <laughs> rally. Again, um, the nation carried a selfie of people dodging bullets. Yeah. This time we see people trying to breathe or uh, water being uh, thrown on them, as you can see uh, on the screen. Or your governor, or your gov, Adelabu heads for Supreme Court because he's certainly not the governor at yeah. the moment. Um, or your gov, Adelabu heads for Supreme uh, Court. Three, sentenced to death for kidnapping Lagos monarch. Again, Ghani Adams tackles Southwest governors over insecurity. We have more headlines, but I want to bring in Femi first. Let's talk a bit about what we've um, highlighted so far. The NWC begins reconciliation as a show of Moleo Basek is fleet. The Edo State um, story is just the, the, uh, like the, uh, the expression of what is actually going on in the political parties in this country. I said it before, they don't even have internal democracy. We heard yesterday the, the Progressive Governors Forum, as a APC governors, their spokesperson, Lukman, coming out to say that Oshomole in over a year had not organized a national executive committee meeting. Which shows they don't even, they don't follow through their own party constitution. These people don't do that within their own political party, and we expect them to run Nigeria well. It's not going to happen. In my language, is what they say that whoever is going to clothe you, 
you have to look at what he's putting on. They, they cannot give what they don't have. I don't believe in their system. And it's not going to work. And we're seeing what they're doing. From Edo now, we have Anambra, we have Ondo, we have, Bay we have it all over across. They've done it in Zampara. And it just tells you the kind of leaders that we have. If they cannot have their own home, because that's their first a constituency, their political party organized. Okay, yeah, you know, the situation with kidnapping is worrying a lot of persons. And then you see a headline like this that says, three sentenced to death for kidnapping Lagos monarch. Uh, by the way, you can find details on page four and five of the paper. But I want to take your thought on that. Death sentence. Well, there is so much insecurity in the land. Death sentence, for personally, is a no-no. But if it's in our, our law, what do we say? Well, will they carry it out? Yeah, that's, that's another thing for us to see whether they will. But personally, I, I don't believe in capital punishment anymore. It's abolished in most civilized places of the world, but we're still with it, so... All right, we have 13 killed, um, 10 injured in Lagos Ibadan Road crash. That story was also captured on the Nation newspaper. Man murdered wife shoots brother in Imo State. Uh, you want to get details? Mm -hmm. uh, page five is where you find it. Uh, Rhodes FD releases 650 a billion naira for capital project. Works three others got the lion's share. That's according uh, to uh, the minister. Uh, Fashola and the death of an idol. Thursdays with Abimbola. Why is she saying a uh, death of an idol? You might want to go uh, read that up for uh, yourself. Before we go, I don't know if you read this story. Uh, have you read it yet? No, I've not. Okay, so we'll just leave it for now and go to this day mm. newspaper uh, where we have uh, INEC gets court order on exclusion of bias APC's gov running mm. mate. That's the governorship candidate. Uh, meets today, says SDP on ballot for Kugi poll. We also have PDP six obedience to judgment. And then... APC constitutes fact-finding committee on Edo crisis. That's another one for you on the front page of the paper. And then we also have, uh, let's see, PDP senators kick as Senate approves 10 billion Naira refund for Kogi, FG to divert from, die first from um, 10 gas-powered NIPPs. Uh, on the back of it, you have Emir Sanusi's Inconvenient Truth. Okay, over yeah. to you now. On the PDB Senator's kicks and Senate approval of a 10 billion refund to Foko Geste, I, I would tie that with the federal government or the Minister of, uh, Minister of Works saying that most roads are bad of, of all the our state roads. Why are they now paying? A state governor for fixing the federal government projects or federal government roads. They shouldn't they should stop pulling wool over our eyes. Nigerians need to begin to understand the intricacies that these people play. They play on our intelligence too much. And it's time to say no. Okay, now the, the PDB senators, they, are, they understand that, okay, the Kogi state governor or government has spent on federal projects. They need to be refunded. That's is standard. But why are you doing it now? few days to the election. And they, they have an argument that the money might be used for something else and not to pay back the debt or the loan they acquired. So it's just the irresponsibility in government. That's what I see to all this that is going on at the moment. So. Okay, let's see. Uh, APC Constitute Fact Finding Committee on the Adult Crisis. What's your take on that crisis, actually? Well, I read that story in Punch. And I saw some extracts from the governor. He said, he claimed, or he said that, they said the national chairman, Oshomale, claimed that he made him governor. But it was God that made him governor. And then he, claimed, he said that 12 years ago when he met Oshomale, they, they had a common front to rescue the states. And then Oshomale now turned around. And he actually raised money in Lagos for Shomole's campaign. Now, if he, and Shomole claiming now that he sponsored his own campaign, that if he could raise money, you understand? It's just a personal vendetta, yeah, between the two of them. And they're throwing it all over the country. It's really, really sad how we found ourselves in this place. 
All right, we move on to the Vanguard newspaper now. Still on the Edo crisis. Yeah, All the papers, it's, 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 it's everywhere. It's everywhere, yeah. Um, Edo crisis, APC government's move against Oshomole. Yeah. Uh, you also see come vain parties neck meeting now or resign. That's APC governor's forum. Uh, adds, it's painful to see party chair reduced to local champion. Uh, I have uh, more writers to that story. Uh, Buhari's meeting in London is captured on the front page uh, with some key um, foreign nationals and Nigerian uh, Minister of Education. Um, there is also this one. Ami begins Operation Crocodile Smile 4 in Ondo State. Under it, you see one killed, scores injured, as PDP APC supporters clash in Nembe Bialsa over taking that story in some of the, the papers. Senate wants field supply restored to, at border towns. FG, Lagos government, clarify road repairs, allay fears on third mainland bridge. Okay, we have a bit of, a bit of Naira watch just uh, above the Mr. and Mrs. Cartoon. We haven't touched on that for a bit, <laughs> but I hope you like it and go take a look at it. Uh, Naira stable at 358.5 in parallel market. That's uh, another one uh, for you. Hate speech bill not necessary. Mm. Minister speaks. Reps approve 7.5% five, VAT increment. Uh, Nigeria's electricity meter gap to gulp at 324 billion Naira. That's something else for you on Vanguard. And behind it is the usual capture, a recap rather, of everything that's happened in the sports world. But before we wrap things up, let's uh, hear from our guest. Yeah, a speech bill not necessary. That's a good one from the federal government because um, they, there's, an, there's, a, there's, a, there's an act or law that already takes care of it. And that they are saying there's no, there's no need to sponsor another bill to bring in another commission and all that. So let's just enforce what we have because uh, the cyber crime law takes care of that. That's what is said. And our National Assembly, I think they bother themselves with too much of uh, irrelevance in trying to gain relevance. I said it, and I'll say it again, the PIB bill is there, it's not been done. You're talking about bringing another bill on. The, our electoral act that is fluctuating, that is caught, who decides, who becomes our, and then the lack of respect for the rule of law is there. They're not talking about it. And like some, in some, I don't believe that, but in some quarters, they're saying that the National Assembly the legislative harm has been swallowed by the executive because they're just saying the same, they're just working in time together now. Well, and is, is it not too quick to um, write them off yeah. considering that they're still relatively new? No, they're not new. Most 70% or over 70% are not new. Government should be a continuum. Some of them have been there for donkey years since 1999 as senators. Some of them have been there for 12 years, 16 years, not even sponsored one motion. So, the challenge is, do they even know why they're there? Because now, the, an average common Nigerian is losing hope because they're supposed to be our reps, they're not representing us, and then the court, they're supposed to be the last hope of the common man. The orders are not respected or are not obeyed. Quite unfortunate. Um, let's see what the sports have for us this morning. Uh, Leicester plan general loan deal for Ihana Chot, that's uh, on sports. Uh, we also have um, a two who found guilty of match fixing ex Eagle Star to appeal conviction. That's something for you also uh, on Complete Sports this morning. Um, Milan wants Asset Lotti return. Um, we also have uh, Eagle Star at the top of Group L. Uh, Osima and Kalu get to Nigeria to a flying start. Aribo wows Nigerian fans. Uh, Ranger star hailed as a blessing to Nigeria. Uh, these are some of the headlines you will find on the Complete Sports uh, newspaper. Any quick thoughts uh, before we wrap things well, up? Well, Nigeria had a game yesterday with the uh, Republic of Benin. And uh, we didn't do, I didn't, the match, I saw it, but it wasn't very impressive. But the good thing is that we won. 
It was an impressive game. It was an impressive one. We won, yeah. So <laughs> At we, the end of the day, that's we'll what we'll take we the won. win. Uh, we take the win. We take the win. <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the program this yeah. morning. Thank you for having me. And of course, thank you for watching. I uh, hope the rest of your day goes well. Uh, if you need to catch up on some of the stories, please go patronize your vendor. They do need the business. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.